welcome to Facebook Live with Freya Fairy. Um, I thought I'd do a lovely, lovely um, live video for you today, which is my story time. So all you little ones that are watching at the moment, if we can um, all join in, that would be amazing. I'm going, to bring, I'm going to read you some lovely stories that you probably already know, but you know you need to join in with. Um, so, shall we get on with it? I think we should. <laughs> so we'll do the wiggling shake songs. Are we ready? Are you ready for shaking hands? Shake your hands together, shake together, shake your hands together, shake, 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 shake this away, shake, shake that away, shake, shake all the day, shake, 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 stamp your feet together, stamp together, stamp your feet together, stamp, stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp this away, stamp, stamp that away, stamp, stamp all the day, stamp, stamp, stamp. Yay! Two tight hands already. And open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them. On your lap, creep them, creep them right up to your chin. Oh, open your mouth, but do not let them in. Then, like little birds, fly them to the sky, falling, falling to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. Faster, faster, slower, slower. Slower, slower. Last one, faster, 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 faster. Slower and back. So today we're going to read our first story, which is a piece of cake. I don't know if any of you have seen this before, but this is a wonderful. Oh, and we've got the fairy dog. Hello, fairy dog. And the pussy cat that has come to visit us and listen to the story. Are you going to listen to the story, you two? Oh, they've let down, ready. <coughs> so, are we ready? I'm fat, said Mrs. Large. No, you're not, said Lester. You're our cuddling mummy, said Laura. You're just right, said Luke. <laughs> Mummy's got wobbly bits, said the baby. Exactly, said Mrs. Large. As I was saying, I'm fat. Oh, poor mummy. She's not, is she? But we must all go on a diet, said Mrs. Large. No more cakes, no more biscuits, no more crisps, no more sitting around all day. From now on, it's healthy living. Do we all do healthy living? I hope we do. I hope we eat all our vegetables, because that's what fairies do, isn't it? For healthy living. So, can we watch TV? asked Lester as they trooped in from school. Certainly not, said Mrs. Large. We're all off for a nice healthy jog around the park. And they were. Uh-oh. What's for tea, Mum? asked Laura when they got home. It's a nice healthy watercress soup. Uh-oh. Followed by a nice healthy cup of water. Oh, said Laura. That sounds nice. Wait. I'm just going to watch the news, dear, said Mr. Large when he got home from work. No, you're not, dear, said Mrs. Large. We're off for a nice healthy jog around the park. Followed by your tea. A delicious sardines with grated carrots. Ooh, I can't wait, said Mr. Large. Oh, do you think he's happy? I don't think he's very happy with that. To be quite honest, I don't think I'd be happy with just a sardine with some carrot for my tea. Do you? <gasps> no. It was awful. Every morning there was a healthy breakfast followed by exercises. Then there was a healthy tea followed by a healthy jog 
by the time evening came, everyone felt terrible. Oh, yes, we would have had no energy, would they? Because we all know we need lots of fruit and lots of fresh vegetables to keep us healthy and strong. We aren't getting any thinner, dear, said Mr. Large. Hmm, perhaps elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. Nonsense, said Mrs. Large. We mustn't give up now. And whipply whopply whipply whopply went the baby. Uh oh. One morning a parcel arrived. It was a cake from Granny. Everyone stared at it hopefully. And Mrs. Large put it in the cupboard on a high shelf. Just in case we have visitors, she said sternly. I love it. it looks lovely that cake. I wish I had that cake now. Everyone kept thinking about the cake. They thought about it during tea. They thought about it during a healthy jog. They thought about it in bed at night. Mrs. Lodge sat up and said, oh, I can't stand it anymore. She said to herself, I must have a piece of that cake. This would be me this Mrs. Lodge crept out of bed. I went downstairs to the kitchen. She took a knife out of the drawer and opened the cupboard. There was only one piece of cake left. What do you think's happened, everybody? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. Aha, said Mr. Large, seeing the knife. Caught in the act. Mrs. Lodge switched on the light and saw Mr. Lodge and all the children hiding underneath the table. There is one piece left, said Laura. Mrs. Lodge began to laugh. We're all as bad as each other, she said, eating the last piece of cake before anybody else did. I do you think elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. Oh, I think you're probably right, said Mrs. Large. And whipply wobbly, whipply wobbly, went the baby. Ah, oh. and that is dun, 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 the end of the story.